What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am at the junkyard today. I found found a nice uh, 90 Accord um, that I figured I would come and take all the uh, chassis harness out. So when I got here, this was completely together. Um, I took out the dashboard, I took out everything um, that I need for my car. And I will tell you, this is one of the biggest headaches that I've done with this car. Um, so far, I've got the steering drop, got the dash out, got the passenger side all in the hook. Um, but basically, I can't take the harness out until I get this out and get the, the uh, harness out. After two long days at the junkyard, I finally, finally got the chassis harness out of this car. This is a really clean car, actually. Um, it just says no start on the windshield. Um, this was a pain in the butt to take out. The heater, core, blower part. The part that's in the middle. There's one, two, and three. That middle one and the hoses that were hey to get to. But this car was at the junkyard, so I'm making good use of it. Um, yeah, so this is just a little update on the car. This is it here. Got the mint dash out of it. Chassis harness. Yeah. One thing I cut, I cut this because I didn't, I couldn't take the bumper and all that stuff off to get that out. So I have to resolder all the headlight harness. But everything I need is out. Time to go. Today is the next day. I was so tired yesterday I couldn't. The previous clip you just saw it was yesterday when I was at the junkyard uh, getting the chassis harness out. I will say that. <clears throat> turn around and talk to you. I will say that I probably will never do that again. Not that it was hard. Um, it was just, I guess it was at the junkyard. The car was really clean. I don't know. I just beat that. There was no wheels on the car. The car was so low. I had to completely take, basically make the car look like this at the junkyard, um, just to get the chassis harness out, but it's finally out. I got it. That side's already in the fuse box is hooked up. The, um, connectors for the headlights are now ran through the side hole under there um that's what i wanted to do in the previous tuck um but i'm just doing it on this one i could have took the harness from that car but that car is really mint really clean i did not want to break that car down um all it needs is a new exhaust and it's automatic and it's having some kind of tranny issues like the tranny doesn't want to shift the d4 light is blinking but uh, I can I can fix that. That's easy. Um, but anyway, right now I am unlooming the passenger side, um, as you've seen in the my other um, harness tuck video. Um, how I just pulled pulled it through there and put it through the side hole. Um, so at the junkyard, the car was too low on the ground. So I had to cut all of the headlight, um, the headlight wires, which is no big deal. Uh, I really wasn't worried about this. I mean, it's just the headlights. If something goes wrong, I can fix that. But I didn't want to cut anything in this area. Um, so right now I got it mostly untaped. I got to finish separating it so I can put one half through that hole and the other half through the side hole here. Um, 
yeah, so it's really almost in. I got the old, um, I'll take you out here. I got the old um, engine harness taken out. Um, that's all clean, cleaned out. Um, the new harness is up here. I'm just going to ch um, change that as well. Um, and wire up the V, wire up VTEC, which is, I mean, all this later. I just want to get it on to make sure it cranks and runs. Um, but today is New Year's Eve, so I have today and tomorrow, hopefully, to get some um, stuff done. And sorry for rambling, but there's just so much I want to do. I was going to get new carpet from eBay, but I was reading that, um, how that carpet is um it's hot molded or whatever and sometimes it's really hard to to fit back in the car so tomorrow i'm going to get my uh pressure washer i'm going to power wash all that the carpet is really not that bad it's still pretty plush it's just really dirty um so i'll get some some uh, you know cleaning stuff and power wash it then i'm going to get some dye and dye it black um and throw this back in the car because the carpet's really not in bad bad shape um this is the steering wheel i got from that car i don't know if i'm gonna use it or not but i had to take it off anyway oh and by the way i got the steering wheel the dash harness and a complete new dash this is a, it's like a gray, light gray dash. All that, I got it for 50 bucks from the junk car. Uh, I was going to get the hood too, but um, I didn't think it would fit in the car and I didn't feel like getting it. Um, so yeah, um, again, this is that stock motor. I'm just using it as the, kind of say dummy motor, um, just to get everything running. Uh, I need to buy a new intercooler and radiator hoses. And yeah, that should be pretty much it. I got my suspension in the house already. Um, well, actually the shocks. I still got to buy springs um, to get the ride right. Um, I want to keep these tires for now. The wheels, I mean, just going to get um, some bigger tires. Um Probably some um, drag radials. Um, I'm not I mean, not not worried worried about wearing them out too much because I'm not gonna be driving this car every day. Um, thinking about registering that one over there and just driving that in the meantime. But just another update. This is this is the original harness that I be we believe that's causing all the issues. This was the harness that I bought and I took it to Daytona to get it put in. But this one is, I don't know what the heck this is from because none of the engine harnesses I got fit this one. So screw that harness. Should have did this whole thing myself the first time. I don't know why I took it somewhere else to get done. They say if you want it done right, do it yourself. So I'm doing it myself and this will be done. So yeah, hopefully, like I said, today's New Year's. I got, I mean, New Year's Eve. I got today and tomorrow off. Um, to spend all day on this. Um, of course, here in Florida, it's New Year's Eve, and um, I'm about sweating outside. Um, gotta love Florida. But um, yeah, hopefully this will be done soon. Um, that's pretty much it for today, um, or as far as the video goes. I'm gonna get to work on here. Um, so like. The video share it do what you got to do let's get this channel grown in 2018 let's get this car on the road in 2018 my goal is for this car to be at ifo in february i don't know 12th i think it is um i don't care if it's i'm racing it or it's just there but that's my goal uh for 2018 and next two months get this car completely on the road and driving all right guys stay tuned like, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.